Oh, welcome back, back everybody. This is just a little quick uh, uh, video really. We'll be putting on some uh, Elsa Craig onions. We, you would have seen them before. Uh, we plant them in these little cell trays. And uh, some of them are ready for putting on now. Obviously not all, because they all grow at different rates. So, uh, basically like, ever so easy to do. This is the same sort of general purpose compost I always use. Uh, got the, uh, the trusty spoon. Look, look at them roots, eh? Now they're tasty, aren't they? You see those? Yep, yeah, they're lovely. Right, okay, pop that in there. Bit of that. Just firm that down there. Okay. And so they all grow at different rates. I mean, some of them are just, just still like blades of grass. But even so, I mean, they've got quite a nice root system onto them. I'm only picking out the larger ones at the moment. Obviously, it's not worth growing weak specimens. You're after the biggest bulb we can get. Been really busy lately. Um, finished off potting the sweet peas. I'll show you them in a mo. Uh, and the Tomatoes, they're doing really well. What else have we got growing over there? Uh, peppers are coming up. Cabbages you saw before, they was a bit leggy, but I've planted them on anyway. I'll show you them in a little while. Um, I've also put some uh, shallots in, you saw me doing them. And I've only just dumped them in a bit of earth Two days ago I done that, and they're uh, well they're coming on handsomely. They are getting off to a real early start. They'll be ready to be planted out shortly. The potatoes as well, they're going mad. They really need to go out. They do. Lovely little plant, please, you know. Nice size, growing well. Uh, another couple, so we'll get in there. Been ordering lots of seeds off the internet, I'm afraid. Really strange varieties. Giant sunflowers, 14 foot tall, and you know, with flower heads two foot wide. But whether they actually grow or not, I don't know, we'll see. But we'll be planting them. Right, this is just to show you basically what we're doing. You know? These ones are a bit too small at the moment, so I'll leave them where they are. You know, obviously these are the Elsa Craigs. And uh, I'll show you the rest of them I've done. So. We'll put them over there. Uh, right, just follow me. Right, oh. Coming down from up there. Uh, let's see what you can see. Right, these are all exactly the same ones. Yeah, all just, just potted on, as what you saw me do the others a second ago. That's these ones here. And we'll put them with the rest. Okay. So I think we're going to have a really good crop of onions this year. So that's good. The um, the cabbages, uh, the spinach and the, what's that one say? Cabbage. It's a bit spindly, so I've buried them deep. Hopefully they might be alright. Um, okay, look at that. We'll leave the uh, onions down there. Finished off. Just got to alter the level of the uh, camera here. It's a bit low. That might be better. Right, we finished off doing the sweet, well, nearly finished. As you see, we've only done three before. The rest of them are all done now. We've got some more sweet peas coming on here. So they'll be up shortly. Now these, now these shallots, you saw me, well, you saw them in the jug a couple of days ago. Yeah, this jug here, big jug full. Yeah, remember that? Well, I stuck them on this tray of dirt two days ago, just to give them a little bit of a start. Now look at this, this is two days. 
See the growth on that? Amazing, isn't it? Really, just a little bit of bit of earth, a bit of dampness. Let's try another one. There we go. Now look at that there. Two days sitting on a bit of dirt. Let's try another one. Anyone? Anyone will do? Look at that. They're really romping away to a start. Now really, I should put them on into separate pots for now. And obviously, like these are all the uh, little onions. Same thing, two days ago. Uh, no root on them though, but the actual green tip's starting. So we'll, we'll keep an eye on them. Oh, there you go, look that one is. A little bit of root starting. Two days on a bit of damp soil. Okay, so over there still, there's a couple more sweet pea. There's a couple more sweet pea there. Um, what we got, the hops. Hops are a bit slow. This is some kind of veg, we haven't grown it before. Uh, cranberries, let's have a look, see cranberries yet. There's nothing happening on the cranberries yet. Uh, I'll just move the camera again because it's a really awkward angle, it is. Right, uh, let's try about there. Sorry about the mess. Right, okay, well, there's another a box of Elsa Craig onions already done. These are some cauliflowers, a little bit leggy. Okay, but they might be alright if we bury them deep enough. I think we'll get away with that. So that's got to be done. Down here, these are the tomato plants. Just uh, put that back over there. I mean, they're doing really well. Nice little things they are. So we've got 10 of these and 14 of the other. So we had two different two different varieties here, isn't it? This was uh, Shirley F1s, 10 of them. And... Gardener's Delight, I think we've got about 14 of them, so they're doing on well. We've got a few melons coming up, if you can see, looking good. And obviously, at the back is the cucumbers, they're doing really well. Um, a few more sweet peas growing here, so we've got them in individual pots. And a uh, quick sort on the peppers, okay, there we go in there. These are the sweet peppers. We've got four out of six so far has germinated there. Chilies times three, not a lot looking happening on that one. Got another lot of chilies there times three, and they've all come up. And we've got some sweet peppers there times three, they've all come up, which is good. So we're doing okay actually. Uh, we've got some parsley ground, flat leaved. That's over here. Uh, a bit of salad, cut and come again. I think that's a little bit leggy that is. Uh, there's some more leeks, but uh, I mean they're like blades of grass at the moment. They've got a lot of growing to do. Obviously, we saw the um, potatoes from before. Uh, we haven't got them in the ground yet, but it's uh, next next week I expect, or the week and a half, and we'll be actually putting them in. So I think that's everything covered there. Really, it's only a quick video, just to see things are really romping away. And, and if you don't take a quick picture of it, the thing's got so big. You know, it's too late. So, what else we got? That's all we're doing at the moment. Um, you might be able to see out in the garden there, there's a few of them. Now, they're, they're a bit disappointing, they are. They was the, uh, what were they? They were the Peter Glazebrook onions, which I was growing in a propagator, and the Kelsey onions, and they are abysmal, terrible. So, I've actually took them out of the propagator and just put them out in the garden and see what's happened. But even, uh, well, they're, they're actually useless. I think they'll end up on the compost heap. But anyway, it's early days yet. Still got time to sort of sow some more if you're a bit, luck, a bit lucky, I suppose. I bought some, uh, what are they called? Oh dear, some giant melon seeds from America. Those are £18 each per seed. So I'll be sowing some of them later. And some giant um, courgettes. But... <clears throat> They go into individual pots, you know, there's just one pot, it's ever so easy to do. And uh, I'll show you how to do that later. Well, thanks for watching everybody. It's just a quick update because things are really leaping away here now. And uh, so these are potted onto the next size. After that, we'll more like put them either straight into the ground or into litre pots and uh, see how they go. So, what can I say everybody? Well, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next time. Cheers then, bye then.